everyone, welcome back on my channel. In this video I got a beautiful preview. It is the new eyeshadow palette from Chanel from the summer collection. I bought a Dusser and Serenity, sorry for my French, I'm a disaster in French. And it is the cool tone palette, so the beautiful one with violet shades. And I'm wearing now on my eyes and you can see how soft muted it could be. So I want to show you the swatches and then there is also my second part of the video where I created this makeup look. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, please take a moment to subscribe and follow me also on Instagram where I upload quite daily the main makeup news. These are the shades. We have this buttery, grey buttery shade, a grey, this is the deepest shade of the palette and I had some problem with this shade, you will see after. This shade that is absolutely my favourite, it seems um, an amethyst violet, very beautiful. And this shade that is a violet with a red touch, so it's a warm violet. And you can layer also the shades and also with this grey to create a very beautiful and unique blend. I like to see the swatches. It's almost matte. So we have this buttery grey shade. On my hands it could seem like a contour shade, but it really blurs everything, it smooths down every shade, so um, you can use it but with a little bit of attention if you can use it also over the other eyeshadows. I take the grey. I always love grey shades by Chanel because they are very unique. Sometimes they are with a blue reflection and gum metal, I mean, they are beautiful to create shadow. And this grey is great, but the texture, it, it really doesn't seem on the end. But on the eye, I had some difficulties to, to blend it. And the texture is quite different from the usual eyeshadow from Chanel I'm used to. This is my impression. So you will see in the second part of the video also what, uh, what happened. Then we have this uh, violet. I love it. It's a very beautiful violet. You see, it's cool. Very, very beautiful. It has some very light blue reflection, maybe you can catch it. So it's extremely cool. I love this kind of violet. And then we have this um, kind of burgundy, violet burgundy. It's almost a red. We can call it burgundy in my opinion, but it's quite a different. Uh, it's a very particular color. So the beautiful quality of these eyeshadows is that you can create a layer and you can really create uh, other colors together. So you can put also, for example, this red over this gray and you can create um, a, beautiful, a beautiful tone. You see also the shades are almost matte, except for this violet that is something more, um, not really metallic, but with a little bit of shine. There is another palette in combination with this one that is called Lumiere et Vibration. Both these palettes are supposed not to be limited edition, but there are few pieces in stocks, so, so they are counted in a way, if that makes sense. I went for this one because these cool tones um, 
were very different from latest Chanel creations. So I would like to have a, a violet, <laughs> violet palette and with a touch of grey. And this is the, the colors on me. So there are also seven new shades of um, Chanel Stilo. I didn't purchase any now, but I palette, I think it works very well with the silvery stilo. If you are interested in my look and in the review of this palette, please follow the second part of the video where I apply this makeup look. So let's take this palette. So my intention is to start with this shade all over the lid since I think it's the most um, vibrant. It's a beautiful violet shade. Yes, definitely not matte, you see. It's deep but luminous and it's definitely a cool tone. So if you're looking for a cool violet, this is, could be the shade. It's quite silvery in a way. It's a beautiful tone of violet. And let's apply here. You see it's also very pigmented. Very, very nice. Oh, I love this color. I would bought this palette just for this shade, honestly. And then I take this one. In my mind, it's like a Bordeaux shade, but, but now let's see once applied. Yes, it's a warmer shade. So this violet is cool and this is a warm violet. It has more red. So you can really play with this kind of cool and warm tones. But they are very blendable together, so you can layer and you can create a nice blend. This one together, yes, they are nice, but they give you another kind of violet, you see. It's like, it's like mixing different undertones. So maybe you can use also the shade all over the lids and using this one as a, an illuminating touch of violet. It could, it could be just an idea. These shades I see it helps when you blend because it has a little bit of warmth and so it gives you a more natural look and in this point this nude shade and i use it just to melt all the shade together see how it works yes it's like a butter shade i take the gray shade that this butter shade really blurs everything so everything is smoothed down a little bit and this is the grey I usually love grey by Chanel I love their grey this is just There's something strange when I apply this grey and I don't know if there is too much product underneath, maybe. It's not as the same quality of the violet. Okay, I removed this. 
So it's the very first time I'm trying this palette, so I wanna try to understand what didn't work because uh, when I apply this shade, everything was transformed <laughs> in a way, and so I don't know if it's the texture underneath that didn't make show off uh, this grey shade so I want to give you the best opinion about, about the product and since it is a first impression I want to try again and see what happens so I take my sponge applicator and apply this violet shade It's better. So I think that that layer of um, this uh, shade really did something <laughs> on the entire makeup itself. So it's muted. This palette is completely muted. You can't add uh, a very deep effect. It's like um, something very smooth, uh, very soft uh, you can't add uh, a very deep effect it's like um, something very smooth, uh, very soft uh, I think it's amazing on um, like blue eyes or or green eyes. I think this shade is very very beautiful if you have light eyes um, because it's muted but this deep shade it's not black, it's a grey it really melts with the violet so it's very very interesting and you see now this uh, this grey really blends like this you can add this little touch of violet but still it's not an electric violet and you can add also a touch of this red in the corner over the black the grey I mean to, to add the intensity and a little touch of this <laughs> Battery shade, not all over the lid, otherwise you will destroy your, your makeup, like I did. So it really turned away everything, covered everything, you see. It's a little bit to try this grey, it's like if it was a, a sort of um, liner, dry liner. It has another consistency, that's what I mean. I really love how this red, red, this Bordeaux violet shade really can be used over the black, over the violet, just to add a little vibration, a little different touch. Very quiet, a soft violet smoky. So very easy to, to create a smoky with this palette. Even if the grey, it's a little bit dry, it's a different texture, maybe it helps uh, not to overcome all the other shades. Now my battery shade, my new friend. You see how it blurs, it really blurs everything, this battery shade. So I probably will use a Noir Intense. There are seven new shades of this um, eye pencil by Chanel and I really love the silver shade and also the emerald. Silver eye pencil would be the choice for this um, eyeshadow. I'm always waiting Chanel to repromote a beautiful rose ivory shade 
that unfortunately is discontinued and it was so beautiful to put in the corner. Let me see how the grey shade works over a pencil, so something creamy, I mean. Just to give a little bit of softness again. Okay, now I put my mascara on and a little bit of coal into my waterline. So this is the shade. With this eyeshadow you can put a very cool rose light shade onto your lips, like a gloss for example. Just a lip maximizer of Dior could be a great choice in the natural shade or maybe um, a gloss by Chanel with um, very light cool pink reflection. I just want to try now with Velvet Muse by Lisa Eldridge since uh, she has launched her new summer collection and I think that a shade like Charm for example, the Gloss Embrace new shade is very very nice to pair with this um, eyeshadow palette for example but for me Muse is just um, a shade that I put with everything so I wanna show you so for the blush I take a little bit of um, Pink Explosion by Chanel of um, discontinued Becca highlighter in pearl just a little bit also underneath before so I just uh, reapply so this is my finished look sorry for uh, the mistakes uh, with the shades but it's the very first time I'm trying this palette so I hope this video could be helpful for you let me know your impression about this palette, if you imagine it very different or if it suits you. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me also on Instagram. I got a big surprise coming soon. See you soon, bye!